Welcome to today's video. In this, we'll be looking at how to solve an extremely neat chess puzzle. So what is a neat puzzle or a neat problem? So this is my definition of a neat puzzle. If a puzzle or a problem can be extremely simple, very simplistic, for, for, for instance, in this puzzle, you all you have is just six pieces on the board. Right? So it's very simple. It's very simple in terms of how it's placed. But the solution is extremely complex. So if the ratio of the complexity of the solution divided by the simplicity of the problem is very high, we would call that a neat puzzle. So if you'd like to, you can pause the video here and try to solve this puzzle. It's white to move and checkmate in two moves. I hope you actually tried it out because puzzles work only when you actually attempt it. So I hope you took the time. If not, I would urge you again to set this position and think about it because once the solution is known, you'll miss the opportunity to really um, challenge your mind to solve a, quite a complex problem. Okay, so the black pawns are moving down. The king is kind of stuck in d6. Not many squares around to go to. And it's just checkmate in two moves. Uh, now, one principle that you should always remember is that your moves need to be zugzwang moves, which means the first move that white makes should force black to just move to one place. That's a typical strategy in solving, you know, two move checkmate puzzle. And if you've seen some of my earlier videos, uh, we have used this principle time and again. You know, you make a move and you ensure that black has one and only one possible uh, way to respond and then immediately you'll be able to find a checkmate. However, this puzzle is different because none of that works. Now, a usual strategy whenever you're faced with a puzzle is to use an algorithm like CKAD. So check, kill, attack, defend. So what are the possible checks that's, that's available? So for instance, I have a rook check. So if I give a rook check here, the king escapes. But then I don't have a checkmate from here because the only possible checks are either this, in which case king escapes, or here, in which case king escapes, or here, in case which case king escapes, and if he takes this, this is futile because the pawn takes it back. So none of this works. So the rook check doesn't work. Uh, what about the queen check? As I said, the queen check is, is possible on the diagonal. Um, so these are two possible checks. So let's, let's first note down. So these are the two possible checks on the diagonal. This is another check. And this is another check. And of course, capturing the pawn as well. Right? So capturing the pawn, king takes it back. I don't see a checkmate. Capturing this, king takes it. And there's no check after that. So this doesn't work either. If the queen comes here, um, possibility of blocking it. So let's try that out. So he blocks it. And the only possible check is this. He escapes, which doesn't work. Or the other possible check, which is this, in which case he can do this. And it still doesn't work. But you know that it's a checkmate in three moves. So, but we want checkmate in two, but let's keep that idea aside for a while and think about it. What about this one? This also doesn't work because even if I give the check, I can just escape here and there is no possible checkmate even in three moves. So if you've spent a bit of time with this puzzle, you'll realize that no matter what you do, um, the checks don't work and you don't have anything to kill and there's nothing much to attack. So what do you really do here? So this is where you need to go beyond the framework of CKD and which is why this problem is complex because you've exhausted all possibilities and they don't work. But you've seen certain patterns. For example, when the pawn moves up, you have this rook check leading to a checkmate. Um, you also saw the pattern of, let's say, this check and king decides to move here, then you have a swallowtail checkmate. This is also possible. This is a two move checkmate. Just the problem is he won't move that, he'll instead block it. And then I don't have any checkmate except for doing the three move checkmate. So if CKAD is not working, what else can I do? What are the other possibilities? So this is where the silent move enters. As in make a move where the options are limited where you know you you really can't do much about it um, for instance 
assume it's black smooth, right? Okay, don't think of it as white smooth. Think of it as black smooth. Now, if the king were to move here, so king has a possibility of moving here. And if he does that, and I need to checkmate, uh, my queen needs to be here. Right, so that's one possibility. The other possibility is that you know, the black king moves here, assuming the queen has moved somewhere else. Checkmate might be a little hard. The other possibility is the pawn comes here and as in the pawn moves uh, to c5 and I might have a checkmate because that's a switch to. Um, sorry, right? So that can work. If this moves here, then also I have a check. So I need to make a silent move and ensure that no matter what black does, I'll be able to check me. Right? So that's where it's this puzzle is so complex because it's so creative in that you've got to literally think about all possible moves, which is not a check, which is not capturing anything, which is not attacking anything, but just waiting to see what black will do. And no matter what he does, you have a check. So one such waiting move could be this. So that if he moves here, I could do a checkmate. It's one possibility. But the problem is if he does this, then I can't give a check here because he will escape. And that's why this waiting move doesn't work for me. Another waiting move could be... Um, the root moving somewhere, uh, for instance, somewhere here. So now if the queen moves, I mean, the king moves here, the problem is the only possible check that can really work for me is this one. And obviously he's controlling all these different squares, but these are free, right? And if he were to move here at this, I mean, he can't move this. If he were to move here, I could give a check. But then this is an escape square. Right, so this is where the challenge lies. Uh, so what could it possibly be? Right, and, and as I said, there is no rule for this. It is just about doing a lot of trial and error. But eventually you land on this. And now I solved it because somehow this seemed intuitive. Um, and I, I can't explain why. Maybe it's years of playing chess. Okay, and, and the reason was if he moves here, I have a checkmate in this fashion, right? Because these two are controlled by the rook and so is this. And the queen supports the rook indirectly through the check. So if the king moves, it's gone. And the king can't move anywhere else because it's all others are controlled. So his only other possible options are to move the pawns. And if he moves the pawn here, I have a checkmate. Thanks to the queen controlling this and the king controlling the no king's land and you're delivering a check. And if he moves this pawn, I think it's fairly easy. That's the checkmate because the queen controls the one escape square and the king controls the no, the no king's land. And the last option is when he moves this one. We already saw that. It's nothing but a fishtail mate, which is that. So this is an example, a very rare example of a checkmate and two puzzle, which has basically four possible responses to black. And whatever is the response, you have a checkmate. Uh, you know, any of these three pawns moving should lead to a checkmate. The king moving should lead to a checkmate. And the only possible way is this. So these problems are extremely complex because, as I said, they don't fall under any algorithm. It doesn't, you can't follow a method to it. And somehow intuition works when you look at the puzzle long enough. Um, and if you don't have the intuition, then it becomes very, very hard to solve. The only way you can think of it is to do some trial runs. Try different options and try to see it. For most beginners, this is not a puzzle that you'll typically encounter. It's probably a very advanced puzzle for fairly the reason that, you know, it's four possible responses from black and each one of them leads to a checkmate. Only when you move the correct silent move. 
And that's what makes this puzzle extremely neat, extremely awesome. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it made you think about the complexity of chess or simple puzzles in chess that can really make your, you know, brain explode. Um, if you'd like to see many more such puzzles, please leave your comments asking uh, and I'll, I'll be able to find many more such puzzles that will help you think and, and really break the shackles of certain said and, and straightforward methods of solving. Subscribe to the video if you haven't, share with your friends and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.